Good morning, buddies. How you doing? Soon you'll be free to dance in the wind like the flowers. <coughs> Sorry, Professor. Chipper came in. Oh, okay, Miguel. Thank you. Just, uh, just put him in the back. Still waiting for your buddy to come out? Yeah, aren't they cute? Yeah, you can't rush these things, Miguel. This takes time. It's like a fine wine, you know? Life is just a series of evolution until, you know, we reach our perfection. He said there was a mix-up in the shipment. What? Oh, man. These aren't our usual frogs from the Canada. They're, they're from South America. Hey, frogs is frogs, right? Yeah, they all taste the same. Don't do little buddies. Yeah. My name is Emma Reynolds, and this is my video essay for my project on bullying in my AP Psychology class. That's now late. Okay. Everyone has experienced or knows someone who's experienced bullying. Sometimes it's unintentional, sometimes it's more direct, but either way, the results are always the same. Someone gets hurt. That's exactly what happened this past week, which was one of the strangest, but also one of the best weeks of my entire life. What? You missed the bus again. The bus. You missed it again. Alex. What's going on? You wouldn't understand. Maybe you could try me sometime. Grab your stuff, honey. I'll take you to school. Yo! Whoa, 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 watch it, dude! You hear me? Hey. Why weren't you on the bus this morning? I miss you so much. Right, guys? Yeah, uh, yeah. Your mommy drive you? you? Playing your video games or what? What are you doing? Come on, tell me. Bet you were cutting yourself, right? Yeah, I guess. Ah! Oh, there it is. Come on, what you got? Let's go. Hey! Oh. Hey, 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 what's going on here? She pushed me. They, they all saw her. Yeah, man. You, pink slip, let's go. Doesn't pay to be a bully. All right, back to class, let's go. Come on. Come
Why do kids bully? Well, one theory is that they learn it. Um, what I guess I'm trying to say here is parents need to be more aware of the fact that their children imitate what they see, both good and bad, and those actions can have consequences. Ooh, that's not it. Uh, one moment. Come on in. Hi, I'm Principal Mazza. Nice to meet you. Come in, please sit down. Have a seat. Thank you. Okay, so Mrs. Butler and Alex. Uh, it, it seems that there was a little incident the other day um, with a, a Justin Hershog. And it states here that you physically attacked him. You know, I, I can't help you unless you tell me what's going on. Alex, if someone's bothering you, if someone's picking on you... Everything is fine, Mom. You know, it's not going to just go away. It's not going to disappear like magic, because there is no magic. Uh, if someone is bullying you, I need to know about it. We have a 100% no bullying policy. <laughs> You're joking, right? Alex? Mm -mm. Please tell him. Uh, Alex, could you give your mother and I a moment? Please, if you could just step outside for just a second. Sally, Sally, Bo Bally. How you doing, darling? Good. Boss man wants to see me? Yeah, um, it'll be a minute. Huh, you got busted. <laughs> so I didn't see y'all at the game. Yeah, refs blew it for us anyway. Bad calls, bad. It's like they wanted us to lose. Now, if I'd been playing, I would have handed them their you know what. Oh, you didn't know I played? Pro? Well, Kind of. College. Could have played pro. I needed this stupid job. <laughs> so. What did you do? Mrs. Butler. Miss Butler. Look, if he doesn't tell us. She. What? She. Oh. <laughs> Sir, my daughter is picked on. She won't even ride the bus. She comes home crying. She goes to her room, and she is glued to her games. I don't know why she's skipping school so much. She says everybody picks on her and no one understands her, but yet she won't talk to me. So, I don't know. Well, we're just gonna have to try and figure out why. <laughs> I'm giving her a detention. This is your way of figuring it out. Fighting in school, it's against the rules. The same rules that are being broken by this Justin Hershock. Look, my daughter, she is not a fighter. She's afraid of something. Something's not right. I can't fix it if I don't know what it is. 
I suggest you find out. What's up, Bobby? Come on in. Vampires. <laughs> How'd the game go, losers? What you listening to? Change. They're awesome. If you're playing in town next week, and I would die to go see them. Why don't you? It costs money. What's this? A vape. As in, like, water vapor? Yeah, bongs water vapor, too. And smoking is against school policy. Mm -hmm. Principles on it's now. Really? Yeah, really. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Good job, guys. Keep hustling. Move. Good job. All right. Good job, guys. Hustle up. Faster. Miss Walker. It is Miss, isn't it? Yes. Well, all right. Come on, guys. Hey, I just had a talk with the boss, man. How'd it go? Nah, same old, same old. I'm unit. I just keep telling him, and he just don't listen. You know what I'm saying? I, I won state. I won state, and I played in this gym. I know what it takes. Right. Keep going, guys. Keep going. I could have been drafted by the NBA. Could be playing for the Wizards right now. I still might. I still might. I have just about had it with this gig. But, uh... Never say never, though, right? Keep going, guys. So, Madison, are you still trying out for that dance competition thing? Uh, Star Stage, yeah. I don't know. You should. You're so good. I know you'd win. You're so beautiful, you have to. Thanks. I just uh, have a lot going on at home right now. You're so beautiful, everyone should see you. I wish. Uh, but the game, it should be really yeah. fun. Yeah. 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 So fun. I just want to win. And when I don't, I get so mad. I keep telling him the parents want to win. I want to win. We just need better players. Kids that want to play for a winning team, not this bunch of Losers. Hey, grab now. Oh, no way. Okay. Lock and loaded. Seriously, one or two key players, we're off to states. It'd be better if I just did it all myself. It's just a game. Just a game. This is life. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart, if they can't cut it here, they got no chance in the real world. Just a game. <laughs> well, weak people. Well, not you, though. The domino effect. This is how bullying spreads. For every action, there is either an equal or greater reaction. 
someone does something, someone blames someone, then someone has to retaliate, and so on and so forth. It's like a tornado that keeps getting bigger and bigger, pulling everything into its path. This is where I come in, I guess. I was in its path. So what's the deal? Deal? Derek? You're overreacting. It was just one assignment, he needed a partner, and he was right beside me. You could have objected. It would have been rude. Do you like him? No! Oh, no, no, that, that's not my classroom. I you must have Derek on your mind. I was wondering where you were going. I do this all the time! So for your essay on Thoreau's civil disobedience, I want you to be very specific in your beginning statement, your thesis. Clear and specific. Ms. Carter, see me after class. And once you've established what you want to talk about, then make sure in the body of your essay that you give details. Reference the book, that's fine. Um, and towards the end, I want you to be very clear, closure at the end of the essay. And once you've had that, then you know exactly where your essay is going to be going. Keep moving forward, and then once you have closure at the end, then you what? all... What? She, she doesn't have to see you after class? I'm sorry? I'm late, and I have to see you after class. She's late, and she gets a smile and a howdy doody? So I'm not valedictorian. Well, You're seeing me after class because I know this is your fifth tardy this month. And after the fifth tardy, you get detention. She's late all the time too. Miss Carter, Emma here has only been, um... This can't be right. Yeah. With today, you would have five tardies. Ooh. All right, class, calm down. So let's get back to it. What we have is a very specific... So, when's the tension? Can you appeal it? I wish. It's that classroom. All my AP classes are on the second floor and this one's on the first, so I just forget about it. You should definitely appeal it. Are you sure it doesn't have anything to do with your lab partner? No. Well, you'll have to tell me all about it. Emma. You ever wonder what it's like to be like that? Ugh, no, I'd much rather be a real person than a transparent one. What do you mean? You know those types? There's no substance, it's all for show. Yeah, no real appeal. <laughs> well, I, you should just get it over with. Get what over with? Detention. Oh, right. Um, she said I could do it this weekend or next. I kinda feel like a criminal. Well, you kinda are. Jeez. Listen, dude, I spaz, man. I didn't know what else to do. But hey, I can make it up to you next Thursday after. So that thing you did in the gym today? That was a good one. Yeah, well, you know, I uh, didn't. Have yeah, Brad's a savage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Want to know what else is a good one? Hmm. You messed with my girl. Nobody does that. Next time, it'll be a lot more than just a drink. Okay? What's wrong with you? And I'm not your girl. Hey! Not yet. Why don't you pick on someone your own size, punk? Call me. Case in point. What can be funny to some can be painful to others. Although the wounds may heal, the scars will last forever. This bullying thing is a beast of its own, and at some point the beast has to be defeated. Note to self, it was beauty that killed the beast. So the caterpillar roams the earth, eating everything it possibly can. And then one day, it stops eating. After that, it crawls up into a tree or on a branch or a leaf or a twig, and it encapsulates itself inside this beautiful shiny chrysalis. Transformation takes place, and the caterpillar emerges as the Earth's most beautiful, wonderful creature, the butterfly, leaving behind the crusty, callous, former shell of itself. It's a lesson we can all learn from nature.
Are you okay? Sorry, Professor. Just had a bad day. Ah, the infamous bad day. Yes, we've all had those. But on those days, we need to remember that inside our bodies are 30 to 40 trillion cells that love us very much. And they're working very hard over time to bring us back to where we need to be. A, a metamorphosis, if you will. You see, we build up these outer crusty shells to protect ourselves from- How you doing, buddy? What? Is that bugs? No. Ooh, you're not gonna eat that, are you? No. Oh, cool brain. Is it real? No, but these were. Hey, listen, buddy, this lady friend and I have this lady friend. Can get this uh, thing tomorrow? It's kind of hush-hush, but I think she wants to wine me and dine me. I don't really want to go, but, you know, duty calls, right? Yeah, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. So listen, buddy, I am going to need a favor. I'm supposed to be watching these, um, what, kids or whatever tomorrow? What's that thing called? Uh, Saturday detention. That's the thing. Can you cover for me? Uh, no. Well, I'll tell you what I can do for you. You cover for me tomorrow, and I'll get you those tickets. What tickets? The game. Any game you want. Front row seats. All right, buddy? Thank you. Thank you. Well, faculty doesn't need tickets. Right. Awesome. So anyway, here's the names of the kiddos. Thank you so much, buddy. I owe you one. You owe me one. I guess I won't be butterflying. So you will be here Saturday? Looks like it. Awesome. See you then. Thanks. Watch it. Oh, Milton. Bertha, come in. Come in. I brought you some cookies. That's nice. I hope you like them. <laughs> oh, well, if you made them, I'm sure I'll love them. Mmm, mmm. Oh, mmm. Yes. Mmm. Oh. oh, yeah. That's exquisite. Just like you. Oh. Milton, you have such a way with words. Well, you have a way with the language of the soul, know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, is this where you spend all your time? Uh, well, yes, yes, and, and this here, this is my pride and joy. You see, inside this simple sarcophagus is, a, is an amazing complex transformation taking place. Now, the word sarcophagus is derived from the Greek words that mean flesh and eat. So the Greeks actually thought that the sarcophagi would eat the flesh inside and dissolve the bones in preparation for the afterlife where they'd arise anew. And soon, ah, soon my little babies here, they're gonna be reborn in fantastic beautiness. It, it, it's a butterfly. Oh, butterfly. I love butterflies. <laughs> they're so beautiful. Well, they're not as beautiful as you, Mrs. Thomas. Oh, Bertha. <laughs> oh, Bertha. Bertha, yes. Bertha, oh, I have an idea. I have a great idea. I go out every weekend and I observe the butterflies. And you should come with me. It, it could be like a date uh, or a oh. thing that we kind of hang out for a while. <laughs> I, I'd love to. Okay, great, great. Get okay. away. Hey. A cookie? for a detention? Oh, yeah, I can see that. Hey, since you've done this before, do you know what key opens the door? No. Okay, well, we'll figure it out together. Come on. roster for this uh, little thingy today, so uh, you okay? Need a water or coke or soda, popcorn, candy, soft drink? No. Chocolate? 
pizza no. and cake? No, I, I'm good. Oh, okay, all right. Mm. Uh, you, you're, you're, you're a cheerleader, right? Yeah, I am. Uh, see, I'm not really into the, the sports games much, you know. Uh, I like the butterflies, the uh, Lepidoptera, the uh, flowers of the sky. Woo! <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, well, I wish I could say it's good to see you, but, you know, it's, uh, it's good to... Yeah, all right, you... you, you all right, bye -bye. I'm just going to... Oh, come on. So what you in for? So, uh, is it just us today or what? You wish. What's up, Fogo? Scoreboard? <laughs> oh, pretty boys arrive. You smoke a J today? Who's here today? Professor Lewis. So what you do, you get caught smoking in the stalls or what? Come on, what you do? No. What was that? Thought so. So who is Professor Lewis? Oh, um, he's the AP bio and chem professor. He's brilliant. Oh, he's brilliant. I imagine he's in his lab. Good. Maybe he'll stay in his lab so I could get out of here. What's up, Four Eyes? Hey, Four Eyes, you here? The guy's basketball team's having tryouts. You should come out since you want to be a dude so bad. <laughs> Kidding, you're too short. Did anyone else just hear that? I think that was Professor Lewis. <laughs> Guy probably just looked at himself in the mirror. Where are you guys going? Really? Whatever, there's nothing else to do anyway. Professor Lewis! What is that smell? Dude. Professor Lewis? Yo, that's dope. I mean, well go look, he's your buddy. Come on, we'll all go. Yo, Professor, you finally get a Tinder match? Uh, professor, you in there? Uh, professor, you in there? What? Ah! <laughs> You're such a wimp, come on, Just yo! Stop, you idiot! Professor! <laughs>
are they? Yeah, this isn't like Emma. They have to come back. All their stuff's here. Is recess still a thing? Okay, sirrah, sirrah, whatever will be, will be. Man, I remember days like this. These teenagers. Hey, get up! Hey, get up! Mm. Come on, get up! Oh. Here they are. Ben. Sorry, we were doing a, uh, An experiment. An experiment in the lab. An experiment in detention. An yeah, experiment in detention. <laughs> Come on, get your books, let's go. Yes, children, grab your books, and then go. Stone. Okay, so this is where it all got strange. Whatever happened to us in detention started to change us. Change us how? Well, only time would tell. But as it turned out, we didn't have as much time as we thought. Honey, you haven't touched your plate. Are you all right? Are... Did something happen in detention that I should know about? Well, you look a little pale. I, I, I'm fine. Just not very hungry. Hey, I didn't cook all this food for you to waste it. Honey... Are you on some- I said I'm fine! I said I'm fine. is 
desert me. You know, if you'd move your weights out of here, I could park in the garage. Just a thought. Hey, Dad, don't you think you had enough beer for the night? I'm going to need for you to go to the store and give me a six pack. What do you mean a six pack? I'm not 21. I can't buy beer. You know this. What are you, the boss around here now? When did Ever I say- Ever since your mother left? I didn't say that. I just said I can't buy beer. I'm not 21. You know this. Listen. Let me do the thinking around here. You do. Sure, Dad. I'll do. Hey, what's up? Hey. It's me. It's it's Justin. Um Is everything okay? You sound out of breath. Yeah, I was just doing some stuff. Okay. Um Anyways, I was just calling to see how you were doing. I feel kind of strange. How about you? <laughs> yeah, I feel fine. Um Actually, I feel pretty good. It's weird. I don't know. All I remember is waking up. Hey, I gotta go. I'll call you later. Okay. Bye. I can't find my keys. Where they at? Where's my keys? I've gotta go. I've gotta go. Mom. Mom. I've gotta go to Mom. work. I've gotta find my keys. You're, it's okay. I've gotta go. I've gotta go to work. Hey Alex, it's Emma. From detention. The science chick? Yeah, the science chick. Listen, I've been thinking about what happened yesterday at detention, and well... I think we may have been drugged or poisoned. Whoa, wait, what do you mean poisoned? How are you feeling? Now that you mention it, kind of... twitchy? Like everything's moving really fast. Or slow. I'm not sure. Well, I was just thinking. Matter of fact, I can't stop thinking. But anyway, do you remember anything that happened in the lab? The lab? The last thing I remember is we were all heading to the lab because we heard someone scream. Oh, yeah, the lab. It was Professor Lewis. He was locked in a closet or something? The storage room in the lab. But everything is a blank after that. I just got a group text message from Professor Lewis. So did I. It's addressed to all of us. It says he wants to meet early Monday morning before class to discuss the... experiment? Oh! God, she guys scared me. 
Okay, look, I'm sure you have a lot of questions. Yeah, I have a question. What the hell is happening to us? Yeah, I couldn't focus on my homework. You were signed over. Okay, all right, one at a time. Look, I'm sure I have just as many questions, if not more, than you do. And the first of which being, does anybody remember what happened in the storage room last night? All I remember is waking up with the worst headache I've ever had in my life. Yeah, and I couldn't sleep all weekend. And I couldn't eat. And look at our skin, it's like we're in a goth band or something. Sweet. And you look like crap. Oh, gee, thanks. Uh, oh, look, I've been doing some research over the past few days, and I've come to the conclusion that we've inhaled some sort of noxious gas. We're poisoned? You were right. Mm-hmm. Right, look, let me, let me show you something. This is Dendrobatidae, also known as the poison dart frog. It's uh, native to South America, and they're known for their high toxicity, which is used for dart tipping. Oh my god, I just realized something. That's why they're called poison dart frogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What? Anyway, since the Dendrobatidae is known for giving off gases, some of the indigenous tribes of South America and voodoo practitioners, uh, they say that it gives them uh, otherworldly powers or uh, immortality, life beyond death. But Professor Lewis, what does this have to do with us? It's the frogs. Frogs? <clears throat> it's the frogs. Yeah, kids, it seems we have uh, been poisoned by the frogs. So that means we're going to die? Well, no, not, not quite. Well, what do you mean, not quite? Well, it seems the frog's gestation period is three days to about a week before... Uh, before what? Before the event horizon. Point of no return. Or it could just go away. I mean, I haven't done that much research yet. An antidote? There must be an antidote. I agree. I'll investigate it as well. Great, I could use the assistance. And what about us? What should we do? I don't know, just uh, live your life like normal and unless something strange happens. Other than not uh, eating or sleeping. And my head being on fire. Professor, you said something about life beyond death. Just, what does that mean? Well, the best I can explain is the living dead. The living dead? Great. We're turning into zombies and what? We should act like nothing's happening? Right? Like, I couldn't eat all weekend and I suddenly had a craving for... Brains. Notice he didn't go after Justin. And what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> what? Hey guys, this is serious. Professor Lewis, you mentioned otherworldly powers. What does that mean? Yeah, I'm not really sure, but uh, maybe it's heightened senses, you know, like uh, sight or hearing or, uh, ooh, or maybe your body's turned bacon into kale. Good morning. Oh, morning. Hey, good morning. Hello. Are you feeling all right, son? Uh, yeah, I joined a grunge band, <gasps> a, a goth band. Uh, What's going on here? Um, we're in a club, and so we're just meeting before school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. clubs yeah. meet early in the morning, and it's, we meet early in the morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, clubs meet after school, mostly. Yeah. So what, what kind of club is this? Uh, taekwondo. Gaming. Taekwondo gaming. Gaming. It's a site. Taekwondo. Gaming. Oh, gaming. 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 Club. Anti-bullying club. Yeah, yeah. that's what yeah. yeah. You hate bullies? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I hate them. They're the worst. I love my friends. Yeah, yeah. He's the best. The best friends. <laughs> well, I, I think that is awesome. Huh? Right here. Okay. All right. Well, um, hey, you, you know, only 30% of, of bullied students actually even report that to a parent or a teacher. So maybe you guys can work on those numbers. But how, how do you know that 30% of bullied students ever report it if the majority of the population of bullied victims don't say anything at all? What? what? Uh, we'll work on the numbers, sir. All right, great. That's fantastic. All right, well, I hope you guys can make a difference.
Yeah. That's what we're yeah. going to do. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See you later. Yeah. Bye. Have a good day. Okay. I guess we need to start a club. So this is actually how the zombie club started. A group of kids that normally wouldn't even give each other the time of day now had a common interest. Staying alive. There's luck. Do that again. Okay. Telling me where that's been? Uh, we could use that at the next game. You are freezing. What are you, dead? Not dead, just dying. Uh, dying to win on Friday. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Madison, what happened to your skin? Are you sick? What? No, I'm just on some new medication for acne. Well, I hope it clears up. Yeah, I'm, I think it will. Um, what time is this over, this class? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it will. Hey! Ball. Yo! Ball. Hey, druggie! You stoned or what? Pass me the ball! So, I developed an algorithm to help us assess our situation. Of course you did. Let's see, it's been three days since we've been exposed to the dendrobatidae, which means we're at 43% of a full conversion. Full conversion to what? Full irreversible lucidic comatose. <laughs> oh, yeah, I totally understand now. Full, uh, zombification? Uh, look, Emma, thank you. That's very, very awesome. But, uh, is anybody else experiencing, I don't know, Something strange. Hey! What? I was hungry. <laughs> and yeah, I feel like really... Strong. Sorry. It, yeah, I, I can burn things. No! I see problems and solutions before they happen. Except this one. Minds. I can read minds and... I know you're not telling us something, Professor. And she's right, I haven't told you everything. Um, I found an antidote. But there's a teeny tiny little problem. What kind of problem? Well, there's a 0.35% chance that our uh, internal organs will liquefy and ooze out of every orifice of our body, like a soft serve ice cream machine on a hot summer day. With some chocolate chips in there. Okay. And uh, hunks of strawberry. Uh, uh, okay, no, that, that's enough. Okay. I mean, what other choice do we have? Well, I guess if we're a club, then we should live as one and we should die as one. So, the zombie club. Whoa, where did you just come from? Seriously? 
I've been here the whole time. So, what's your superpower? Yeah. Seems to me that our powers are personifications of our hopes and our dreams. So there we were. Superhero... zombies. <laughs> A blessing and a curse, I guess. They say true character is what you do when no one else is watching. We were about to find out our true character. Hey coach, you wanna see me? Got a big game coming up next week. Yeah, should be a good one. Yeah. Well, we're gonna have to win it if we have any chance of making the finals. Sure, I'll do the best I can do. Oh, you'll do your best, that's good. Mm -hmm. Well, you know those shots you were sinking earlier? Come on, show me those again. Nah, that was just luck, can't do that again. <laughs> luck, that was, that, oh, that was luck as well. Yeah. yeah. All 10 of them, right? <laughs> I was crazy. <laughs> SHOW THEM TO ME AGAIN! Why don't you relax? You're not my boss. Son, I am your coach. That's worse than your boss. Now, if you want to play on my team, you'll do as I tell you. How about this? I quit your stupid team. Have fun trying to win without me. Quit? You're fired! Get out of my gym! and I will be your server here today and... Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm... I'm so sorry, I'm... I'm... You could, the change, you guys are like my favorite band. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. You're like our favorite waitress. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just, um, I'm fangirling so hard right now. Um, I'm so sorry, um, the change, you guys are like my favorite band. Oh, really? I'm, I'm so sorry, I will, I will be with you in just one minute. Yes, um... Hi, can I help uh, you? Yeah, do you see something missing here? I'm sorry? My fries, you forgot my fries. Okay, I'll, I'll get... Are you new here? Jeez. Free. Excuse me? Um, my fries? Must be one of the stupid ones. They need to fire her. Wow. Gotta be on drugs. Bet her mother is proud. Why do they hire these people? Look at me. I'm so goth. Guess the circus is in town. The Lord will save her. And that's someone's daughter? She needs Jesus. I hope she's not our waitress. Why does Ginger's really do that so Nice makeup. Put on some more cake batter. Wow. Does smartness just come to you or do you have to work at it? That's an odd question, but to answer, I apply myself.
Mm. Hey, thanks for letting me come over. I just needed a break from my house. How's your mom doing? Honestly, not good. I'm sorry. Most of the time she doesn't even know who I am. It's like she doesn't even see me. Boyfriend? My dad. Your dad gives you flowers. Used to. So, you think this whatever is going on with us is gonna go away? I mean, <laughs> we kinda joke about it, but... It's a mutation and the reversal is possible, but it's an interesting mix between voodoo and science. Quite unique in the known sciences. So you dance? Yeah, kind of. It's just a dream I had growing up, you know? The ballerina syndrome. Had? Yeah. Reality can be a rude awakening. What was your dream? You'll laugh. Try me. Well... Cancer. I wanted to find the cure for cancer. Wow. That's pretty epic. Why cancer? My dad. He died from it when I was younger. Oh. I'm sorry. Can I read it? Sure. Even though I may never see you again, I will always see you in my heart. Hey, dreams are the animus of life. They're what we strive for and what give us purpose. Without them, we're just like zombies walking the earth, surviving from one day to the next. It's just dreaming can give you such false expectations. Did you always want to be a cheerleader? Yeah, it was one of my dreams. <laughs> okay, you got me. Can I ask you a personal question? Of course. What's it like to be popular? All of that is so overrated. Everyone always talks about how popular I am and how pretty I am, but they don't know me. The real me. Madison, it's like they don't see me either. Well, for what it's worth, I see you as a friend, and that's pretty cool for a geek like me. <laughs> you're not a geek. You have such a good heart, and you're way prettier than me, inside and out. I wish. Well, friend, will you let me show you? Is this the part where the popular girl makes the geeky girl pretty? <laughs> what? Dishes. It's your turn. Let's go. Alex? Alex, what happened to your arm? Nothing, Mom. Nothing? Did you do that? You wouldn't understand. No one understands. Try me. Pain is a universal experience. 
we've all felt it. Some more than others. I know I felt it. But I also know that I'm not alone. It's not the cards you're dealt, but how you play them that matters. We may not be able to control how others treat us, but we can't control how we treat others. Attention. Would the following students please report to the principal's office? Emma Reynolds, Alex Butler, Madison Carter, Justin Hershog, Rita Lands, and Brad Statter. Thank you. Didn't see you guys come in. I'll make it really quick. I know you have to get to class. Um, oh, it's a lot of sunglasses there. And you guys feeling all right? Okay. No, we're, yeah, we're, we're just, just uh, starting a goth band. Mm, yeah, goth yeah. Yep. Starting a goth band. Goth band. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a very popular thing these days. Well, what What is the name of your goth band? Uh, the zombie uh, band. Goth. The zombie yeah. band. Zombie goth band. Yeah. Yeah. Like your club. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's the reason I asked you guys to come in here. Um, how are things going with the anti-bullying club? Um, oh, well, you see, Principal Mazza, according to the data, our high school had 147 reported cases of bullying in the past six months. Using the sample of those that reported bullying, we were able to isolate each case to each student. Those who were bullied showed a significant decrease in academic progress, as well as an increase in days of absences. Ergo, by targeting specific groups and demographics with the highest amount of bullied students, we'll be able to pinpoint the students that need the most attention, which will result in the most efficient outcome possible. Wow. Yeah. Exactly yeah. what she said, yep. We just thought the goth fam would get more people involved. Yeah. yeah. Yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, fantastic. That, that, that's some really, really fantastic, great work. I, I will instruct my, my secretary to, to help you any way we can. Because, you know, this, this bullying crisis, and it, and it is a crisis. It's not just here in Bridgeport. It's, it's, a, it's a national epidemic. And, well, it, it's personal for me as well. My wife and I, we lost... We lost um, our son to bullying a few years back, back when I was a teacher. And, and it, well, it happened right in front of my face, but I couldn't, I, I couldn't see anything until it was too late. So, so if we can help one student, one person, then I think it's worth a try. You have our word. Yeah. That's, that's great. That's great. All right, well... Good job, you guys. Yeah, get back to class. Oh, wait! Your band. Your band should play at the school assembly next week. Oh, uh, we no. We're, we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. Don't be so we're modest. Nervous. You guys will be great. It's going to be fantastic. Next week. Now, off to class you go. Okay. Off you go. It's going to be great. Betsy. Yeah. So the zombie band's going to play at the uh, assembly next week. Great. Pencil them in. Oh, anyone play any instruments? I play guitar. In video games. Oh. And I can sing, but I suck. I can dance, if that helps. Okay, we're screwed. Yeah, we yep. are. Hey. Can I talk to you for a sec? Uh, yeah, yeah. That thing I did in the cafeteria the other day, it wasn't cool. And I just want to say I'm sorry. Oh, cool, cool, yeah. and frogs. Hey guys, hold up.
What is it? I got this. What's up, Munchkin? Yeah, what's up, loser? Leave him alone. What you reading? Super Soldier? Psh, that's what you're not. Dude. Hey, Justin, look what this dude's reading. Not cool. What are you doing? No, you're not cool. Looks like you've been hanging out with the freak club for too long. Uh, the zombie club? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the zombie club. Ooh, the zombie club. <laughs> Scary. Do you really have nothing better to do than pick on a little kid? Come on, man. Don't you think we could be better than this? Be role models, not bullies? Okay. Hey, fighting grounds to a skull. Hey! You three, attention! Come on, you gotta get out of here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Como esta there, amigo? Coach, you almost gave me a heart attack. All right. So how would you like to score yourself some front row tickets to next week's game? Uh... Great. So listen, Miguel, I understand you're a man who can get things. What do you need? Well, it's come to my attention that you've taken possession of some... frogs. You into that? That was awesome, man. No, it wasn't. We could have got in trouble. He went to the nurse saying it happened in the weight room. These powers, they're getting out of control. I don't think it's the powers. It's us, we are getting out of control. I mean, I. I almost blew up my restaurant the other day, right in front of my favorite band. Something bad's gonna happen. We need an antidote. Now. Well, last time I checked, we were at 76%, so we don't have much time left. And Professor Lewis still hasn't found an antidote, so I'm not really sure what we're gonna do. Hey, you doing all right? What do you think? We've all heard the saying, with great power comes great responsibility. Seemed like we failed that test. But as in life, you can learn from everything. Especially from your mistakes. Do you ever wake up and everything is different? The one I love is gone. Gone in an instant I didn't say goodbye I didn't know that you were leaving You shattered all the dreams That we planned mm -hmm. on achieving I spent my whole life mm -hmm. Taking you for granted Assuming you'll be here for me When all the mm -hmm. lights are faded When it's dark I feel alone I can't sleep cause I don't feel
Come on in. Ace of spades. Ah. Uh. Hey, Emma. Ooh. Uh, how, how, how's the band coming? Do you know anything about this? Uh, yeah, yes. I had my secretary print these things up. You know, get the word out there. Help, uh, help spread the word for you guys. Wow, thanks. I, it was just a little unexpected. Is that a problem? No, no, it's fine. Um, I'll just have to tell the others. All right, great. See you out there. Okay. Nobody high fives anymore. Ooh. Ticket to the pros. Ooh. Okay. Oh, sorry. Ninety-seven percent. There's like a family of raccoons just living inside of me, just trying to get out. I feel terrible. There be a raccoons in me. Hello? Is this Rita? Rita! Yeah, um, anyway, this is Kayla from The Change. Hey. You know, like, that band, yeah. Yeah, right. Anyway, we were in your restaurant the other day. Like, you totally trashed the place. Oh my god. It, it is you. <sighs> okay, I'm glad you guys are here. Professor. The antidote. Did you get it? Delivered by drone this morning. God. Oh. Behold. Megasoma Oxeo. Oh, no way. Tell me we don't have to eat them. Are you sure this will cure us? Well, 32% probability. What about the other 64%? 68. What about the other 68%? Hope you like soft serve. Hey, Rita. You guys aren't going to believe this. Well, <clears throat> I got us into this mess. I'll go first.
Sorry, buddy. Uh, excuse me. Is, uh, is this where the anti-bullying club meets? We want to be a part of your club. The zombie club. Well, come on in. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get them to play here? They're huge! Oh, um, well, they've been fighting this anti-bullying epidemic for a while now with their music. And when they heard about what we were doing here at the school, they recognized me from the restaurant, so <gasps> gave me a call. That's awesome! So, uh, I hear you're quite the gamer. I do okay. I just downloaded uh, Dead World 7. I don't know if you like tonight, you're free. Uh, you're... Uh, dude, I haven't finished 6 yet. Don't spoil it for me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm stuck on this one part with like the potion and the goblin. Oh, the potion goblin. I hate that. Yeah. Like, that. Like, that got me on Dead World 4. So, now that all this is over and we're not dying anymore, do you think maybe we could start over and get something to eat or see a movie or. Like a date. Oh, no, I didn't... Uh, uh are you still a zombie? Uh, I'm kidding. I'd love to. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. recommendations? Yeah, totally. Okay. Um, so there's this other band I love called The Residents. Uh -huh. Round since the 1960s. Nobody knows who they are though. <laughs> like they always perform with these eyeball masks and uh -huh. their music makes you feel like Satan's coming to your house to kill you. We're the chair! Wow, what a, what a great job. Fantastic. Well, hello, students and faculty of Bridgeport High School. Now, thank you all for being here. And once again, a big thank you to our special musical guest, The Chain. Now, before I introduce our first speaker, I want to take a moment to thank some, some very special people, special to our school, and special to my heart. Emma, Brad, Madison, Alex, 
Justin, and Rita, better known as the Zombie Club. Come on up here, you guys. This group of individuals have shined a spotlight on a problem that has been plaguing our community and, in fact, our country for quite some time. Bullying. Now, just the fact that so many of you are here today in attendance tells me that this is a problem that can be defeated. And as a group and as a club, we will defeat it. Well done. High fives. <laughs> All right. All right. Hi. My name's Justin, and I've hurt a lot of people, and I did that out of my own fear and insecurities. And it was wrong. I lost a part of myself or never really knew who I was, but the irony of all that was is that the people I hurt turned out to be some of the coolest and best friends I have ever known. So I'm here today in front of you all and our principal to tell you that it's never too late to change. It's never too late to make a difference. And if you've known or if you've even been a bully yourself, you can change too. So hi, my name is Justin Hershog and I am, I was a bully. With every end comes a new beginning. It wasn't the end of the zombie club, but actually the beginning. Bullying comes from somewhere, and our goal is to stop it before it ever starts. The difference lies in all of us. In you. Don't be part of the problem. Be part of the solution. You can 
Change, we can be, we can be, we can be the change, we can be, we can be, we can be the change, we can be. 